Rhapsody of Realities. Saturday, March 4, 2023. Topic, Trust Him and Be Patient. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will, Ephesians 1 5. There's nothing you might be experiencing today that's a surprise to God. He knew you and knew everything about your life before you came into this world. He planned your life excellently for His glory. Therefore, let nothing discourage you. Trust Him and be patient. The Bible says He foreknew and predestined you to be conformed to the likeness of His Son, Jesus. He prearranged your life for glory and excellence. He said to Jeremiah, Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, Jeremiah 1 5. It's akin to what he says to us in Ephesians 2 10 AMPC, for we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand, for us taking paths which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. He already planned your life for his glory. So even when things get difficult, remain in his perfect will by staying on the word. He has said, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, Romans 8:28. This is a guarantee. In your walk with the Lord, trust him, knowing that he never fails and his timing is always perfect. James 1 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You need patience for a balanced, successful and stable Christian life. Keep your trust and hope in him alive, for the Bible says those who trust in him shall never be disappointed, Romans 5 5. Prayer. Dear loving and ever gracious Father, thank you for prearranging my life for glory and excellence. You've set me on the path that I must follow, and by your spirit, you lead me from place to place in a perpetual victory parade. I'm walking in victory, success, peace, and prosperity, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Proverbs 3, 5-6 AMPC, Isaiah 1, 19 TLB, 2 Corinthians 2, 14 Message. One Year Bible Reading Plan, Mark 10, 32-52 and Numbers 14-15. Rhapsody of Realities. Sunday, March 5, 2023. Topic, The Attraction of Righteousness. Surely, shall one say, in the Lord have I righteousness and strength, even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed, Isaiah 45 24. There's a beauty and an attraction about your life because you're the righteousness of God. When you walk in righteousness, men will come to you to hear God's word, and to be imparted by his life and nature of righteousness that's in you. It reminds of what the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 60 3, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Righteousness attracts. It pulls people to you who want to come to know and serve your God. Thanks be unto God that this righteousness isn't something you strive to attain, it's God's blessing and gift to you in Christ. That gift of righteousness was activated and became effectual in your life the moment you were born again. Therefore, always affirm that you have the righteousness of God. This is important because of what we read in the first part of our theme verse. It says, Surely, shall one say, In the Lord have I righteousness and strength. As you make that declaration, you'd find yourself bringing forth more fruits of righteousness, and producing greater works of righteousness. Jesus said in John 15:16, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. You're ordained to bear lasting fruits in soul winning, in leading others to Christ. Hallelujah! It's part of the workings of the righteousness of God in your life. Confession Blessed be God who has made me fruitful and productive in soul winning and in all things because of his life and nature in me. Men and women are attracted to the glory of God that's in me. Through me, 
the gospel is reaching everyone in my world, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Proverbs 11.30, Isaiah 60.2-4. One Year Bible Reading Plan, Mark 11.1-26 and Numbers 16-17. Rhapsody of Realities. Monday, March 6, 2023. Topic, Your Shield Against the Enemy. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, Ephesians 6.16. In Christianity, faith is our lifestyle. When the scripture tells us to take up the shield of faith against the enemy, it means our faith is a shield. With your faith, you'll be able to neutralize or put out all the fiery darts of the wicked one. There are fiery missiles directed at you, and they're coming from demoniacal forces. But with your faith, you can put them out. Discouragement and anger, for instance, are missiles of the enemy. Some people could be by themselves and suddenly have anger and discouragement assault their minds. Those are darts of the enemy. Some suddenly feel something like a hard object hit them from the side, yet there was no physical object or person present, that's a fiery dart of the enemy. For some others, it comes as a sudden sharp pain somewhere in the body. But thanks be unto God. These darts from the enemy can be neutralized with your shield of faith. The Bible says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world, 1 John 4 colon 4. 1 John 5 colon 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Your faith is what you need. This is what puts you over and above Satan and the circumstances of life. Remember that you don't have to look around for a shield called faith, faith is in your spirit as Paul succinctly puts it in Romans 12 3. Keep building your faith strong by learning and acting on the word. Irrespective of what happens around you, refuse to fear, speak the word in faith. That's how to use your shield of faith to put out Satan's wiles and stratagems. Stand on God's word, and your victory will be as sure as the word is. Hallelujah. Confession. My faith is alive and prevails today, irrespective of the perils and tribulations in the world. I'm shielded and protected. I'm like a tree planted by the waters, that spreads out her roots by the river. I'm triumphant always in Christ Jesus. I've overcome the world and its systems, because I dwell in the pavilion and safety of the Most High, soaring on the wings of the Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Ephesians 6 colon 13 dash 17 AMPC, Romans 4 colon 19 dash 20. One year Bible reading plan, Mark 11 colon 27 dash 12 colon 1 dash 17 and Numbers 18 to 19.